and it crosses over into the Sinai and into Jordan and Israel. Those are the places you find the sycamore tree. Wherever it is found, particularly in Africa, it is a fortress for the cultural heritage of those communities. It is sometimes known as the court of the tribe because it's under this tree that people meet to make decisions, to reconcile people, to work with people, and to find new means, meanings of their lives. It is also a cornerstone species. It is a cornerstone species because it supports other species. A sycamore tree will find itself, except in this one, which is growing in the city of General Bandi, when you go into the forest and find a sycamore tree, there are many other species that grow along it. It also supports birds, specific birds, because of its fruits. In the Agikuyu community, this tree bears fruit around the times of Kiangazi, or dry season. And uh, the Mokoyo gives fruit called Goyo, and uh, they were eaten during uh, famine and situations such as those. It is a spiritual tree. Uh, Mr. President, as a spiritual tree, this tree symbolizes peace. And it symbolizes cultural preservation among many of Kenyan tribes. I counted 20 that actually consider this tree a holy and a spiritual tree. This tree represents about 15 generations because as it stands here, uh, some of us have tried to guess the age of this tree and uh, we have come to the conclusion that the age is between 125 and 150 years. And that means it has served 15, more than 15 generations. It is a landmark, iconic, and a mark of age of this city because it was born many years before this city was born. Uh, and, and therefore, it's a, a very iconic tree. And for that reason, your government to see it fit, to preserve it, is indeed a mark for celebration for all of us who believe in greener, pleasant cities. And our city was once called the Green City in the Sun. So, Mr. President, this is a testament of how well your government is doing. But the guy sitting next to your left, this is the man we feel can preserve Nairobi to the glories of the past and even beyond. It is also an opportunity for me to say something. I said that this tree is also found in Israel. And one day, the person who we are celebrating tomorrow was passing through a place headed to a, uh, a destination and people are waiting along the road. And one short man, and Mr. President, you're not very short, one short man climbed a sycamore tree and sought to see Jesus with his own eyes. That story should be repeated today because we are all very tiny little people and we can climb upon this tree and look at our nation and say, yes, we can make it a green nation, a productive nation, a reconciliation nation, a nation that looks forward, not backward, a nation that respects the rule of law, a nation that respects one another, we respect one another, and I think it's a fantastic day today for the work you have done. There are two young people who helped us in that campaign. Phyllis Wamaida and George. Could you come here? Just come, please. Because these guys, without them, me at my age, Mr. President, I wouldn't be able to come and do the campaign to get the ears of the general. They did. 
And we thank you, and we thank your generation for staying together with this government, and please let's support General Bandi to change this nation. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. President, may I now give my own personal thanks that from the time I worked with Professor Wangari Madai, I have never been overjoyed on the day you announced the saving of this tree. Because I knew if you save one tree, a sycamore tree, you will save many more. And we have done some great work at Karura, you know that. Fantastic. God bless you. May you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, God bless you. Asante Sana, Professor. Your Excellency, as we were preparing for this evening, we were wondering among ourselves if Jesus was born in Kenya, what animals perhaps would have been around the manger? And the Excellency, though hidden by the media, behind them you will see two of the big five. And we thought perhaps if Jesus was born in Kenya, the domestic animals would have been what we know here as the big five. And we're not just talking about conservation, Your Excellency, in terms of the flora, but also the fauna, because it is an important part of our, our heritage. I'd like to invite, again in line, Your Excellency, with the COVID-19 protocols, this is why we are not singing carols this evening, the band to just play us one more song before we invite the Director General of Nairobi Metropolitan Services. Band, Karibu Nisana. Asante Sana Band. Your Excellency, now it is my pleasure to invite the Director General of the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, Major General Mohamed Badi, to make his remarks and thereafter invite Your Excellency to also speak to those present. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, members of uh, Green Belt Movement, honorable members of the County Assemblies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and Merry Christmas. World over, sir, nations celebrate Christmas. This tree lighting ceremony symbolizes hope and the good in the world. The hope of its lightning 
will awaken amongst ourselves the true spirit of season, joy, charity, and even forgiveness. As we embark on festives with family and friends in the year that has been in the face of pandemic, let us reflect on the lessons learned that even when we are apart, we remain together. Spread the joy of Christmas and remain your brother or sister's keeper by remembering the less fortunate in society as we welcome collaboration in this charitable and noble engagement. To the residents of the great city of Nairobi and all Kenyans, let us support the government agencies in their development endeavors by shining bright our spirit of patriotism and standing the test of time just like this iconic fig tree, a symbol of nature's ability to withstand the test of time. To you all, I say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Your Excellency, now it's my great pleasure to invite you to address the garrison. Your Excellency. Please be seated. Thank you very much. I need my glasses. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. So let me first just read this and then uh, say a few words. And uh, I have here, in accordance with the Constitution of Kenya, the Environmental Management and Coordination Act of 1999, read together, make this declaration of conservation. Conscious of the constitutional imperative to preserve Kenya's cultural and ecological heritage for the benefit of present and future generations, committed to maintaining and enhancing Nairobi's global, globally recognized status as the green city in the sun, affirming the shared desire of all Kenyans to live in harmony with the natural environment as embodied in our national anthem, as our heritage and splendor, committed to environmentally conscious infrastructure development that at all times conserves the flora and fauna of Nairobi and Kenya, and recognizing the cultural, historic, and iconic status of this fig tree now therefore known to all men by these present that pursuant to Article 69 of the Constitution, as read together with Section 3 of the Environmental Management and Coordination Act and all other enabling laws, I, Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, do hereby declare that this fig tree is hereby adopted by the Nairobi Metropolitan Service on behalf of the people of Nairobi and all of Kenya and declared and conserved as a beacon of Kenya's cultural, ecological heritage and as a symbol of Nairobi's commitment to environmental conservation. And that is signed by myself on this 24th day of December in the year of our law 2020. Asante. We are here today on the eve of Christmas to celebrate, I believe, our past, our present, and our hopes for the future. And indeed, we had this recognition world over of this green city in, this, in the sun. But unfortunately, over the years, we abandoned it. And we're here today to reaffirm and to declare once again our commitment as a country and as our people to our environment. 
And there can be no greater, no more significant symbol of that commitment than our presence here in front of this fig tree that was there long before Nairobi ever was. A clear indication that it is indeed possible for us to live with nature, that it is possible for us to preserve and conserve while at the same time develop rapidly our infrastructure and our capacity to ensure that our citizens live a decent, clean livelihood that each and every citizen is entitled to. We are here in the presence, like I said, of a tree that was there well before Nairobi was, and directly behind it, in the presence of a highway that by next year will be reopened, that will ease traffic management, that will make Nairobi a much more attractive destination, that will ease congestion, and that will continue to improve the livelihood and the well-being of the residents of our city. So indeed it is possible for the two to go hand in hand. And our presence here today, on this eve of the birth of our Lord and Savior, there can be no greater moment to link the two, the past to the future through our actions in the present. Wahayo machache na mengi, sina ingine. Mungu wa bariki, mungu wa walinde. May you have a blessed Christmas with your families. May God continue to protect this nation of Kenya. And may we all pray for a prosperous, happy new year with COVID hopefully well behind us. Asante ni sana, and God bless you all. Thank you. Your Excellency, I'd like to invite you.